Alrighty, so today um, we've got the new day old Triton uh, and what I plan to do is we've got a tow bar installed on it already but I didn't get the um, factory uh, trailer brake electric brakes um, when I bought it so I am going to be uh, showing you or doing it together uh, how to install this um, trailer brake uh, electric trailer brake brake kit and then we'll install a Red Arc um, Tow Pro Elite on it as well. So this kit comes with instructions. Obviously it's the Mitsubishi branded one um, and hopefully minimal wire cutting or anything, but we'll have a look. Um, the first, one of the first steps was to remove um, the trim. This just pulls off. Um, the kick panel trim is just two of the tabs that you use a little flathead screwdriver and pop those out and then you get access to this. Uh, so I guess we'll start under the bonnet uh, and the first thing is installing a wire there so let's get into that. So the first step is uh, we're going to install this into the under the bonnet. Um, the instructions mention a plug which is I'll put this down here a plug which is uh, down near the battery um, and a four plug so I think it's this one there's already actually a wire going to the to the positive terminal of the battery um, and it goes down here so I'll unplug that and we can have a look so once you get the plug unplugged like that um, this one just needs to go into that bottom left corner when you're looking at it like this so when you're looking at this plug uh, the first thing to insert the wire is you have to pull out this white bit you'll need a little pair of pliers to pull that out um, but that just exposes the kind of locking tabs in there and then you can push that part in we have to remove the, the little blanking kind of rubber grommet we'll remove that and then the the wire bit should just push into there so I will do that with two hands and uh, come back and then I'll just connect the other end up here and tuck that zip tie where the other wire is uh, and we should be good so with this one here, uh, you actually want it in the opposite corner to the wire that's in there already. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, they said it's a pink wire, but on mine it's a red wire. Uh, so opposite corner, and so when you plug it in, it matches with the green one down there. So now that that's in, I'm just going to put the locking, locking tab in and uh, plug it in. I'm going to leave the fuse out of this, but I'll attach it to the positive end. So now that we've done that, uh, we're starting on this main this main loom here. Um, so I'll undo that and we're going to connect the blue and the black wire, sorry blue and the black wire I think, um, into these plugs here. So the, there's one plug there so it'll sit like this and then there's one plug in there and one plug in there. Um, this says that we want to, the black wire we need to connect to number four which is the opposite corner to the orange wire. Uh, and the blue wire we want to fit in the unused location so apparently there's only one which is unused yeah you can see there it's it's this one on the end so for this four four prong connector there's a, actually a little tab uh, that you need to pull up I don't know if you can see you can't see that there's actually that little orange tab and you have to strip away some of this um, foam away and then it will slide in and then you'll be able to uh, when you get it in properly you'll be able to clip that back down uh, it's like a little lock so this other one that you plug the blue one into has a really tricky kind of locking mechanism you have to push this white bit up I've never seen one like that before um, and then when you put the wire in you'll be able to squeeze it back down but yeah that's what it looks like when it's unlocked you can see a slight gap there took me a while to work that out so uh, that's that one and then we'll work out where this uh, gets plugged into in a second. So here um, is where we need to plug the next plug. So it's into the bottom one here. We just unplug that bottom one. I had to unplug the top one actually to fit the to unplug the bottom one and then the bottom one just goes into this plug here and the other end goes into that hole and then obviously the top one goes back in. Then there's one more plug which we need to ta 
that we one more wire that we need, and that comes out of this white plug. The white plug comes from just in there. Uh, and what we need to do is from this plug, we need to depin uh, the red plug, and it's going to go into this pl other plug, which is part of the loom um, for the brake controller. So you just remove that pin from this plug, and then actually there's a white um, plug that you plug it into that looks like this, and that will then go into that other piece of the loom that I showed before. You end up covering it with a piece of foam tape, and the foam tape uh, looks like this. So yeah. So we are now in the back passenger corner of the tub, and what you're looking for is this plug here. You want to take out the red and white wire and put your single red wire in and then it will run all the way to this here, this relay. You can remove that relay and you pull out that, that, that pin there and plug it into that. Uh, and that's it for the wiring part of it. Uh, you obviously got to put in the uh, fuse back in the front uh, and I'll just go inside now and show you whereabouts I positioned the control knob and the actual unit itself. So inside the car, I put the um, switch in the center console here. Uh, so you can put them over here as well, I think. Some people put them over on this side, but I prefer it in the middle here, just so that if, if required, the passenger could you know, push it if they needed to. For the actual unit, I mounted it behind the glove box. There's a bar um, there and I mounted it. It's gotta be solid mounted to that. So that's all easy enough. Um, yeah, this isn't a that complicated to install. It's a bit tricky and it's a bit disconcerting removing some of the trim, but it is doable. Uh, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below and I'll try and answer them. Um, but if you did like this video, give it a like, consider subscribing to the channel, and yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks everyone.